Nationally, Pets America works in partnership with the Veterinary Emergency and Critical Care Society, and in Texas with the Texas Veterinary Medical Association. Together, we develop new guidelines for pet CPR and for pet first aid. Let's talk a little bit more now about pet CPR. The first thing you want to do is lay the animal on the right side. This is Wolfgang. It's one of our pet mannequins that we use in pet first aid classes. When they're laying on the right side, the heart is up. And if you bring the left elbow back to the chest, like this, you'll locate the heart. That's one of the pulse points. So the first thing you want to be able to do is to locate the pulse. Now, this is not necessarily the easiest place, especially on a larger or even obese animal. So another place would be right up here on the wrist. If you run your fingers right up under that front dew claw pad, you can usually feel a pulse right there. Same place on a back foot, on that wrist equivalent area, or on the femoral artery. Now when you do this, run your fingers down to about the knee, and then roll your hand around on the inside thigh. That way you can locate the femoral artery. All right, once you know how to locate the pulse, then you wanna start CPR if you need, if you need to do that. If you've got an animal that is not breathing, and does not have a pulse, go ahead and start CPR. First thing you do is give about four quick breaths. So I'm gonna bring my head down to the snout. You wanna have the head in line, and tilt the head back a little bit to open the airway. Run your hand up here to close that lower jaw, thumb across the top of the nose, and hold the mouth shut. Now on a small animal or a small dog or cat, your, your mouth is gonna naturally seal over the mouth and nose. In this case, I'm gonna bring my mouth down to the nose, okay? I'm gonna take a full breath, and then if you kinda of watch right here, you'll see the chest rise. Okay? So to start CPR, I'd wanna give four or five quick breaths. Come back. Again, bring that left elbow back to the chest. Locate the heart. And we're gonna do about 15 compressions. So I'm gonna lock my fingers together, Lock my elbows, 15 compressions in 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right? 15 compressions to one breath. And then you want to add an abdominal squeeze. I'm going to slide my left hand under the abdomen and use my right hand to squeeze and this helps circulate the blood back to the heart. All right, so 15 compressions in about 10 seconds to one breath and a squeeze. If you happen to have two rescuers available, you can alternate the compression and the squeeze. Have one person doing compressions, one person doing the squeezes. Make sense? All right. Austin, Texas is one of the most pet-friendly cities in America and I'm proud to call it home and home for Pets America Partnership. I appreciate everything rescuers do every day to help families and pets. To learn more about Pets America Partnership, visit www.petsamerica.org.